Good afternoon. I'm Sharon Jones, and I'm from Philip O'Berry here in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah. Yay. It's a little bit hard to follow that act, uh, considering uh, Peter just a wonderful, eloquent speaker, an English teacher. Um, but I, will, I would like to take a few minutes to take a, tell you a little bit about my experience. I have a very similar story to Peter's. I received a phone call from my principal, so I wasn't called to the office. I got the phone call. And it was a week before the beginning of Coach University, and I happened to be vacationing at the beach with my family. So you can imagine what I was thinking. Hmm, what is this about? Uh, but she uh, asked me if I'd be interested in attending the training the following week. So I don't know if ask or if I was being told this is what is happening. So we were going. Um, so the next week, I went kicking and screaming, I want you to know, to this training. And I'm pretty sure if you can envision, the first day did not go as well. And I think Frederica might have wanted to throw a dart at my head because I'm pretty sure I was not exactly the best student. However, as the week began to move along, as Peter mentioned, it was not like any other PD I'd ever been a part of. It was intense. It was you were learning. My mind uh, began to shift differently about how to approach this thing called instructional coaching. I wasn't even really sure what that was, but I began to learn throughout the week. My paradigm began to shift on what it meant for me as somebody who could go back into my school and begin to support the teachers that I work with. I taught in the classroom for many years and just came out into a more administrative role over the past two years, and I'd struggled to find my place. What does it mean for me to go in and help other teachers? Who am I to go in and make those decisions? And Coach U helped me find that place by having the accountability and understanding the concepts of what it means to really make movement was something that I can't even put to you in words. Over the past year, I had a wonderful experience of having a coach myself who helped guide and show me how to implement the ideas that Frederica had presented to us at the very beginning of our week intense in sunny, hot Charlotte, uh, not in Raleigh, but, and take those experiences and really make change in my school. So that I began to see that I needed to be more of a listener and more of a guide and let the teacher find their own way. And that was something that I had never really thought about before. So as I worked through this year, I noticed the change in myself and the teachers, and more importantly, the change in the students, because that's what we're here about. The students are what keep us going. They make us laugh every day. That's why we get up every morning to go to this wonderful job of being an educator. There's nothing else in this world I'd rather do. So for me, Coach University gave me a grounding point, a point for me to start and say, we really can make change. And I am thrilled to have been a part of it. Thank you for making me stay the course. The accountability has been phenomenal. And I am truly changed myself. And I will walk into the classroom, excuse me, in the fall feeling much more confident as a coach and as an educator. So that's my story. Thank you. And speaking of design and inspiration, I have the great privilege of introducing our guest, our keynote speaker for today. We have the pleasure of introducing Sam Seidel, who is the director of the Student Experience Lab of the Business Innovation Factory. He is also the author of Hip Hop Genius, Remixing High School Education. Please help us in welcoming Sam to the stage. <laughs> 